Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube Nation? We are back with another banger of a video. <laughs> I'm rubbing my hands together. This is one of the most insane things I've seen on Hardcore. You know when the video starts like this, we got something special in store for you boys. And uh, this is like a Turkish soap opera level of drama. So there's a couple of characters, a couple of main characters in the story. There's going to be a couple of clips. And trust me when I say just watch the whole thing to the end, it would all make sense. All right. Let's get right into it. We're not going to waste any time. So uh, let's start with introducing our first main character here, Mr. Death Row. Now, Death Row is a uh, level 60 rogue here on Stitch's Horde. And in this clip, which I think was a hilarious clip, this was a kind of a... Um, instant karma situation here so uh he's in party with a warrior uh on, on level i believe 33 or 31 I, I can't see his level but the warrior is low level he's tagged as pvp you can see it there in the bottom right he's level 34 he's tagged as pvp flagged and he's pretending that he is running into a wall and dc'd so the warrior here is pretending he's dc'd and then we have flay druid who is just minding his own business. And he notices, wait a second, there's a PvP flagged warrior that looks DC'd right here. I could just murder him right now. And this clip is fantastic. I think this is a hilarious clip. This is instant karma right now for Flay Druid. Um, and uh, Mr. Flay Druid, he decides to go for it because here in Arathi or Hillspread or wherever they are, uh, there's guards. And if you have an encounter with the guards where they hit you, you become PvP flagged. So uh, Mr. Flay Druid here, is going to uh, decide to go for it. He PvP flags himself. He has no idea that there's a 60 rogue waiting to send his ass back to Moonglade or Nighthaven or Teldrassil or whatever the hell druids come from. And he gets sent, he gets teabagged. <laughs> it's a great clip. So uh, that's some instant karma for Flay Druid. And this is your first introduction to the main character of the story, which is Death Row. Now, Death Row, he likes to do stuff like this, run around, murder innocent lobbies, do, you know, stuff like that. And th this was honestly kind of funny, kind of deserved. Uh, you know, you can't really be mad about that. Now, fast forward to yesterday. I'm in a party with Death Row, and I'm going for the Arena Grandmaster Trinket. Now, let me introduce you to our next character here in the story, which is going to be Mr. Simeon. It's a hunter, uh, which is featured in this clip. So, Death Row whispers me, he's like, on this layer, there is a hunter and a druid. They're going for the chest. I'm like, let's 2v2 them. Let's kill them. We could easily uh, send these guys. Then, as soon as I show up here, I realize... The druid is somebody called Corrupt. This guy, we, he healed me in dungeons. We did um, a dire mall together. He helped me get my uh, Fiji water quest. Uh, and, I, you know, this guy is a good guy. I've, uh, you know, talked to him for a bit. And uh, I consider him that somebody, you know, that I like on the server. So I, I messaged him. I was like, oh, the druid is my friend. Um, I'm going to tell him I don't want to kill this guy. So this is what I mentioned to the rogue. I'm telling him I don't want to kill this druid. Um, and then he's like, the hunter is down. So he wants to kill the hunter. And I'm kind of down to kill the hunter. Um, the druid is my friend. And I whisper to the druid, trust me, bro, it's a layer. I'm telling him, bro, don't jump down. It's a trap. If you jump down and you help this hunter, he's dead. But then I see the hunter. He's in the same guild as the druid. And they're probably friends too. And I've had a lot of Nihilum blood on my hands lately. Um, so we'll see what happens here. So I mind control cap the hunter. I go for the chest. Now there's nothing left to fight for after I get the chest. Um, and then uh, the hunter knows, like he sees a rogue with cold blood up. He sees a mage. Uh, he's going to start, you know, a duel here in melee range with this mage. There's no way. The hunter has no chance of surviving this. Uh, so I just know by him and I tell him, trust me, bro. You're lucky. I'm feeling nice because I don't like to kill people who don't have a chance. Like if it was a 2v2, I would have liked to go for it because, it, you know, we could definitely lose that. Uh, but here it's just like, I'm just basically killing a random 60. So the hunter thanks us for letting him live. And I say, I don't want more Nihilum blood on my hands. Then we let him go. Me and the hunter agree that he's now my butler. Uh, if we're ever in need of a hunter, he's going to be the guy. If I need a hunter for a dungeon, he's going to be our guy. So today we go to Skolomance and uh he instantly whispers me yo i can come scolo we do a scolo together and now we've made a new friend so it's all good this is at 12 o'clock this chest i think you can see it here yeah it's 12 o'clock so this is yesterday 12 o'clock 
Now, what happens after this kind of pissed me off. So we are in Strangletown Vale, once again, going for the Arena Grandmaster Trinket. When I arrive here, and this is kind of where the villain arc begins of Death Row, at least in my eyes. When we arrive here, there is a level 40 priest, this guy, and a level 39 rogue, this guy. They're in a party. They want to go for the chest. There's also two alliance players, level 42 and level 40 as well. Now, as soon as I saw them, I told them, you know what, guys, you can have the chest. I'm going to go to a different layer and just pick up the chest there. It's all good. So I do that. So right now I'm not even here. My character is layered in a different dimension. Um, the priest is like, uh, oh, can you come and help us? Uh, so I join his party and I'm waiting to be layered. I tell him, you guys can go for the chest. It's safe. I have a rogue friend there who will help you guys uh with the alliance dudes if you guys get into a fight and uh i'm telling them it's okay you guys can jump down and uh you know bait the alliances so the priest uh, takes my word for it he's level 40 priest and he goes for the chest and right now the priest is trying to bait the uh the alliance dudes to uh to jump down and he says oh they're scared so the alliance dudes classic alliance run away and they don't go for the chest, which is probably the smart thing to do here, honestly. So at this point, we're like, dang. And I'm asking him, hey, did you get the chest? Sorry about the quality. I don't know why the, why the quality became so bad all of a sudden. What the heck? All right, there we go. All right. So at this point, he got the chest. He's trying to bait the alliance, but they leave. Um, and um, he's like, well, shame. Uh, and I ask him, did you get the chest? He says, I do. So he got the chest because I'm on a different layer asking him. He's like, but I wanted to see some more blood. Um, so at this point, you know, it's all said and done. And then Defro says, wrists to me. So he wants a little tip. And at this point, I get layered in. So now I'm in the layer and I can see what's happening here. And the priest is going to give him the arena wrist guards as a little tip. And then he says, a little G, please. So he wants a little gold tip as well. He has 55 silver. He wants a one or two gold tip. And the priest says, nah, bro. And then the rogue decides, you're not going to tip me? Well, he's like, wait. Okay, 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 please. But it's too late. The damage is already done. And uh, our rogue, Mr. Deathrow here, has murdered the priest. Now, at this point, I get really triggered about this because I kind of told the priest it was safe to go down here and do this. So I jump down and try to kill Deathrow. <laughs> so I jump down and we have a Makora here, basically. And, um, uh, you know, we have our duel here. I get the iron grenade and I'm starting to send damage and I get, uh, you know, some damage off here. And right here, my Cone of Cold, if he crits, he lived with 512 health. If that crit, he was, he was back in Brill. Uh, but he pops a freedom and, uh, you know, um, or uh, sorry, a free action potion and a sprint. He dodges my blizzards and he runs away. So death row here manages to escape death in this situation. So close to dying uh, after that. And you can see the priest here says I had 90 gold. The priest just transferred because he was level 40. He was just about to buy the mount and he had no gold left to buy his mount. Um because he died with all of his gold. And he's going to go again. I felt really bad about that. So I gave him a little donation of uh, a couple of gold. Like 20 gold. Uh, on his new character. But I felt really bad about this. And this is where the funniest things start happening. Today in Stranglethorn Vale. May I introduce you to another episode here of Stranglethorn Drama. So we got our boy Defro here once again. But first we're going to pause. In the death log... Anybody look familiar here? We got Simeon, level 60 hunter, going for the chest and dying. Now, I think he died to an alliance rogue. I don't have a clip, sadly, of the hunter dying, but our butler, he's finished. Now, Death Row is here once again, griefing some lobbies. And he goes after this level 2 guy looting the chest. But all of a sudden, a 60 Alliance Rogue opens onto him and sends him all the way back to Grail, dude. Now, this is less than 24 hours from when he killed that innocent priest. And, I mean, <laughs> this is some karma, man. Oh, my God, dude. 
that is just unreal. So I think what happened to Simeon is that he tried to go for the chest and the level 60 rogue killed him. Uh, and what happened to Death Row is that, well, he got found by a 60 rogue and uh, he got a taste of his own medicine. So uh, guys, if you are going for these uh, Arena Grandmaster trinkets, probably good idea to bring a friend or two because uh, there's a lot of rogues in the water. And if you decide to be a shithead, just keep in mind that uh, these things can happen. <laughs> <laughs> comment sub and like if you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in the next one peace